My name's Chris Arbuckle from Aspiring Environmental. I've been working on the Beef and Lamb Environment Project the last two years on three stations in the Wakatipu and Wanaka catchments. So year one we focused on uh, a really detailed mapping program to build up a land environment plan three. Year two we refined a lot of the information that we gathered in year one. We did a far more detailed overseer nutrient budget for these properties and we also introduced Farmax on-farm financial modelling and the reason for that was to actually test out some farm financial scenarios to see if we could adjust the farm operation um, meeting limits in this catchment, which are quite stringent, and seeing how that affected farm financial performance. So the purpose of a land environment plan is to sit down and detail areas on the property that may need you to consider new management approaches. And we have done that for these properties. And some of the key things that have come about is uh, riparian fencing, uh, change in fodder crop management, um, change in stock management policy, so keeping animals away from lake margins, on, like here on Mount Burke Station. And that may not seem significant to some people, but the reality is it changes your day-to-day -day management on how you operate your farm. So that influences basically some of the stuff you spend your time on. And these things are becoming part of the overall farm management approach. And what that means on the ground is an improvement of water quality overall, because you don't have stock in places they shouldn't be and you're more aware of your nutrient management. Hello, I'm Grant Ruddenclaw, uh, the manager here at Mount Burke Station in Wanaka. As a farm manager at Mount Burke, uh, it's always been really important that we look after the pristine uh, waters around the property and also uh, the uniqueness of the property in itself. Uh, hence the involvement in this LEP3 project. Overseer uh, was something that was pretty complex to put together on this property, uh, far more than I could have ever have done. So with the help of, of Chris and uh, Jim Risk at Balance, uh, we went through different scenarios in the Overseer program and um, what it really highlighted to us as farm owners and managers was that we need to be fully aware of, of A, where we uh, winter crop as stock in position to uh, waterways and lakeways, etc. And also um, where we should make the best use of fertiliser, nitrogen, etc., etc., on the property. Hi, Randall Aspinall, we're farming at Mount Aspiring Station near Wanaka and we're involved in the Beef and Lamb New Zealand High Country Catchments project. Going through the process of the LEP, it probably just hastened a lot of the, um, a lot of the decisions or a lot of the th things we hope to do and probably just brought a bit of clarity around um, where the priorities are, where we're best to, to spend money first to get the best results. Yeah, I mean, it's very important for us to look after the natural resources on the property because you only get one chance to use what you've got and um, I think it's a responsibility we all face to, to maintain them or even improve them for future generations. 